before I became a Christian, I grew up in a family, a Christian home, and uh, I would pray and read my Bible every night. So one night after dinner, I, uh, I started to ask my dad about becoming a Christian. He said, you were, born into sin, you were born into the world with sin, and if Jesus Christ didn't die on the cross, then you wouldn't be able to go to heaven. And I definitely wanted to go to heaven. So that night, I asked Jesus Christ into my heart and became a Christian. After I became a Christian, I asked my grandparents, I told my grandparents the good news, and they said that my cousin had been praying for me to become a Christian. Since I became a Christian, I've been trying to be a good example to the kids in my neighborhood, and I'm reading Proverbs right now. Uh, baptism does not save us, we know that. Uh, it is a, both a pro public profession as well as a picture. Romans talks about how we are buried with Christ and raised to new life. And so going down in the water is a sign of kind of uh, the burial and rising to new life is like the resurrection. And so um, these three gentlemen are coming today to be baptized. First we have Riley Faust and Riley is, um, you know, it's great Riley to have you here this morning. It's my privilege and honor to be able to baptize you. It's also a great privilege, isn't it, to be part of a, a family where Christ is taught and proclaimed. And uh, that's always exciting and you have a great a privilege there by having a family around you that that helps to lead you and help you grow in Christ as well. Uh, Riley, have you put your faith and trust alone in yes. Jesus Christ for your salvation? Yes. It's my privilege and honor then to be able to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.